So the children's toy is in this designing with the four C's folder. It's the one here called child's toy. If you open the assignment, here is the conversation. Let's read this whole thing carefully. It kind of gives you the basics of the whole lab. So here's our conversation piece. So you need to fill out your worksheet. Based on this is what you're going to write. So for the drawing, we're starting out with a 10 inch by 10 inch rectangle. So let's click and drag 10 comma 10. You see it right there? If I go to camera, zoom extents, it zooms in. This is the size of uh, paper or cardboard we're going to use to build this child's toy. Again, you got to draw it as though you're drawing this in art class on a flat sheet of paper. Go draw it. So you can cut it. You can assemble it. All right. Yes, it'll be a 3D model when it's done. We're drawing it as a flat, two-dimensional object. My paper is now drawn. Uh, to draw lines, you know how to do that with the pencil tool. But you might not have known is click and hold. I can do a freehand drawing. Let's say I want to draw a giraffe. And I want to have start with a maybe the click and drag. Here's a giraffe's long neck, giraffe's body, the giraffe's tail. But be kind of careful now of when you start drawing this shape. Uh, if you get the parts too thin, they'll probably break when you assemble this thing. So the giraffe's body, you kind of want to use a somewhat wide line to make it not so thin. If you ever stop drawing, no worries. I can pick up where I left off. If I go to the line's end point, it's that green dot, I'm on the line, on the end point. So to draw the giraffe's head, may want to have... I think they have horns and they have a little eyeball here's the nose here be the mouth my draft will be happy and then back to the end point if you miss like this here i can just draw it in by going click drag end point end point and take off what i don't want okay um draft should have spots right I could freehand draw some spots on my draft if I want. I'm just going to kind of click and drag some random spots. Make sure again you go from end point to end point. If you stop the line short, it won't cut through. It'll kind of cut partially and stop. So let's do a couple random spots on my draft. But I got to leave spot for my legs to attach. So I'm going to leave those kind of undrawn in. Maybe a spot there. And then, of course, drafts of eyeballs. Um, I could do a straight line eye if I want. Kind of give it more of a click drag look to it, to the eye. All right, and last would be I need to add the legs. Um, but the description, let's go back to that. Uh, do, 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 detachable. I'm going to make those one eighth of an inch wide because the cardboard is three sixteenths. We want to go one eighth of an inch. That way it'll be a tighter fit than the MCA sign and it won't fall apart. So one eighth of an inch. So I'm going to kind of pick a spot and use straight lines for this. Uh, the back legs attach somewhere here. If I click and just do a line that's straight, it can be vertical, angled, doesn't matter. But here's the hard part. Uh, I'm going to click here and I want to make sure that my next line is parallel to this line. So I move my mouse, I'm going to find like a purple. Purple means I am perpendicular to this line. If I type in one eighth of an inch, there it is. And then I also get purple to this line. But if you can't quite find a purple, do you panic? No. Another part later. And then the front leg somewhere here, kind of angling upward. Um, Hold on, try that again. Okay, legs. Click, drag. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna make this little opening um, under an inch. Right now it says 13 sixteenths. That'll work. Under an inch. Click there. Find my purple line. Aim purple. Type in one eighth. Stop the line for now. Finish that later. Next one. Here I am. 
Again, under the inch, like close to an inch as possible. Seven eighths is pretty close. Find purple, find one eighth, enter. Okay, now to finish this line off, watch. I'm going to copy this line and paste it across so it's parallel. Edit, copy, edit, paste. Here it is. Set it aside. And then I'm going to grab the top and plug it into the top. Okay, again, arrow tool, grab the line, grab the line, and a copy, edit, paste, set it aside, grab the top, and plug it in. Um, then check. Here we're short, aren't we? So you got to draw my line from here. I'm going to go purple, because it's parallel in this case, and draw beyond. And then erase off the extra and then the little spot. Check over here. Line tool. Purple, so it's parallel. And the line, erase off, erase off. So now I have my body drawn. Legs go somewhere up here. Uh, draft kind of a longer set of legs. So I'm going to kind of use them. Um, I can go freehand, I can go straight. Either way, it doesn't matter. I kind of draw one just for example here. Um, begin by drawing maybe the left hoof and the left leg, kind of a longer leg. And then where the spot attaches to the giraffe, kind of want to go right leg, get them somewhat similar in length. This hoof. And then kind of kind of keep this spot long enough. So I can attach it, so I'm going to go kind of short, and then short. Okay, it's fine, legs a little bit off, that's quite all right. Now to make the attaching point, same thing. Here's where it's kind of tricky. i got to find the middle. If I hover over the line, it'll snap and jump to the middle. I'm going to draw this here, um, again, same thing, about an inch, and click. Okay, here's the hard part. I'm going to go half the distance up, half the distance down. If I want a 1 8 inch wide opening, I have to go 1 16th. A 16th is half of an eighth. And then I can draw my line up to there. Go from here, I'm going to go 1 16th down into there. And then erase off what I don't want. Okay. One set of legs are done. Now the other set of legs. Um, I could take these legs, copy and paste them in this case. And I gotta park them somewhere, maybe over here, that fit on my cardboard. That won't work, that won't work. Put them here. I'm gonna use the rotate tool. Click and set, click and grab, spin them. Here's the hard part. The legs are now glued into my giraffe. If I move them, it's stuck. So I'm going to undo that. Zoom out. Let's get them out of the way. Rotate. Click, set, click, grab, spin that halfway around. And now will it fit if I move this in? Can I get them so they're kind of, nope, nope, nope. Let's rotate this. Maybe facing upward, move it back into place. Nope. What if I take these legs and move them out? It's going to rotate them whoops, a little bit to get a little bit flatter, so they fit in a little bit more neatly. Can I grab these and rotate those in? I'll do it again. Hold on. I still have more rotating, moving, and shuffling. Hey, they all fit. So I'm inside that 10 inch box. I have the body of my animal. These again are an eighth inch wide and darn near an inch tall. Eighth inch wide, almost an inch tall. Eighth inch wide, almost an inch tall. Now we're set. Um, just save your file. 
this file we're going to send to your Schoology page to the drop your files here folder. All right, hey, good luck.